Hey, I'm Albie. Come hang out with me whilst I create this portrait using pen and watercolour. Okay, let us do this. So I'm starting off just doing a few random dots to see like where I'd see her face going. And, and I'm gonna guesstimate what I reckon eyebrows are forehead and chin all will make sense and anyway, I always start with the nose cause with the nose you will see how big everything is judging by the nose Urgh. okay yikes a bit like so just about the width of the nose is where the eyes go. And you go along about the same width. And place two dots. That's where the corner of the eyes is. But I think she's got cat eyes. So I want to put that dot slightly up. Yes, she does. She's got cat eyes. Pretty. And that's her eyes. Then it goes around. Here, we'll draw in a little corner of the eye. Probably a bit too much. Damn. All good. And then come and join it round. Draw in the pupil. Dead center. Leave a little spot for light. Draw the iris going round. Now it's time to thick up the eyelashes. For the eyelashes, thicken up the top part. For the eyelashes. Give some hints of eyelashes and do a couple of suggestive eyelashes here. Now you can see she's got not a flap, eye flap. God. Got to learn these to these got to learn these names. Actually maybe the eyebrows were good. Well that's clever. I am I am a little bit clever. Eyebrows were actually in a good little spot. I love doing the top part of the lip. Which time? What's the detail? Make or break, but I'm only doing I'm not going all the way down, just suggesting the top part and then I'll join it with paint after. Let's see what lips are doing. Let's see what the crease of the lips are doing. I reckon it goes down a touch. And it joins back up. She got a cool bottom lip that comes around. Again, not going all the way. I might dot it there. And a little, little bit thicker there. To show that she's cool. Okay. Hairline. Actually, this actual drawing is actually damn cool. Think about it. Because I actually placed her hairline in the right place as well. And if that dot was there, I actually place her chin in the right place. So, call me a genius. So just make sure. Curves around. Yummy Lee. This is always painstaking. Get this wrong, mess up the whole face. But even if you do, what's the worst that can happen? Just go over it. She's got them nice eye cheek, eye cheekbones. Do the bottom of the ear, some hair. Can you see my little smudge marks? If it does, try not to, well, try not to smudge it, but it's fine. Just go over it and paint after. And I'm not sure you can see, but in the reference, the hair's cut off, but that's minus. Just paint it in, and just draw it in, however you feel the hair went. And try not to go too hard, like drawing every single strand. Just do, um, and make it more free flowing. And she's got that cool white tee going on. I'll put that in now. Some support lines. She's got that little, that little smirky smirk going on. Beauty spot. Well, that's what I saw anyway. Draw a cheekbone. 
sticks in the heart. I think. Let's define that chin now. So it goes round. Let's do a couple of marks to show where the highlights and lowlights are. But most of it will be in paint. Hmm, I'm happy about that. What are you saying? Yo, so I've got my trusted palette. These are the colors. You can see how freaking cool are my watercolors. It's my little plastic palette that came with it. I need to clean that off somehow. Don't watch that. I mean, it's a bit raw, but that'll do. And just wipe it off. Oh, voila. Check it out. Nice and clean, kind of, mostly. I'll keep that there. I'll keep that in shot, might as well. So all I'm doing is doing a light wash of skin tone color, leaving some bits that are white, light rather. Adding more color. Cool, might have went a little bit too dark. Don't watch me. It's all good. If it does, it always dries lighter anyway. And this is only the beginning layer, so just literally gunking it on. Even on the lips, maybe. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you can see I purposefully left a couple of bits that lighter. Just literally soaking it in. And then next stop, should we do the eyes? Yeah, let's get the eye in. Might as well. I'm using, what colour am I using? Sky blue. How sweet. I mean, that's me being lazy. I guess I could. There are touches, hints of green in there. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to add some really light green. This green is actually a gorgeous green. Ugh. Exacto Mondo. Colour match to perfection. Okay, what next? And the hair. What am I going to do for the hair? Yellow. But the yellow needs to be proper dim now. Actually, let's go in where I think it's dark. Yeah, it's fine. A little blonde hair. So I mixed it in with the flesh just to dull it down. And a little bit of ochre as well. Actually, tortilla I've been using. It's a bit too much. Wow, a bit too saturated. Get a little bit more to tear in. Again, mushing it around. Light enough. Mmm. Yow. I'm looking on screen through my screen and that is a bit dark. Ugh, I mean, too bright. That's just the way it landed. Get a little bit grey. Add a little bit of blue and grey. Just for the t-shirt. Mmm, oh. that's nice. Just a little hint, you know. Okay, let's go a little bit darker now with a with the face. Still got that yet. Yeah, do you know what? I always, I always do this to myself. I dump it down. Oh, that's gorgeous. I had a little pink, pinkish hue to it. So now just going in for the darker bits. Damn, I forgot to do a brows. Actually, it's fine, it's that weather. Oh, this side of the nose looks nice. A little shadow under her nose. Just make sure it don't go too dark. Under the hairline, ears. Hmm. Should we go in and do her eyebrows? Let's do her eyebrow. Oh, what am I using? Burnt Sienna. A little bit of Burnt Sienna Tortilla. Oh, there's popping some at the top as well. Let's see your cheeks. I normally use Vermilion because it's not the strongest of colours. And I'll show you what I use it for. Just along the cheeks. Oh, yikes. Again. It's me not learning. Learning how to control these 
me getting a bit too happy, you know, and just work with what I got. Along the jawline, along the chin. That's it. And then that little baby in that little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go for Crimson Lake for the lips. Mmm. That's beautiful. Let's see. Sometimes I surprise myself with how good I am. I was gonna leave a little bit of gap, but I could do that with white marker. Maybe I'll leave a couple of spots. The lips bled. I mean, you can dab it just like the way I just dabbed it just now. But you don't have to do what you want. Okay, what next? Let's do the eyeball. I was, normally, I'd, actually, I don't keep it white. Let's put a little bit of a shadow. I used grey, but yikes, it didn't quite work out. I had pink into it. I should have got bloodshot eyes, it's fine. I'll fix that, I always do. Okay, dark lights, whatever it's called. Let's go darker now. So I'm mixing in some burnt umber, a little bit of black, a little bit of purple. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. We're going in dark now. Ah. I'm going in whether it's, I feel it's dark. Got to be brave at this point. Let's see where the hair flows. A little bit more colour. A lot more colour. It says black, brown and purple. Let's hit on this side as well, see what's happening. Not so much on this side though, because the light's coming in from here. So I'm gonna have to like change tact. However, up here, different story. Let's go where the hairline is. Last thing I do is I hit it with a purple. Actually, a pick mix of purple and mauve, mouth. And this is for shadows. <sighs> Make sure I don't go too crazy, like I just did. I don't know. Let you'll see. Make it work. <sighs> Let's go above her eyelid. Oh, eyelid. I swear that was the word I was looking for earlier. Just under her eye. Wee. Bit too happy. Under a nose. Dash under there. Under there. Where else? Lips? Yeah, let's go. Let's go this side. Let's get her lips working. Let's hit it that side. That's in shadows. Actually, that works a damn charm. Don't want to overdo it. Any more? Actually, that looks pretty. Actually, that looks really pretty. Ooh, so there you have it. Me drawing some random mod. And it looks actually pretty cool. Happy with that what you reckon. Peace out everyone, see you in the next video.